Medical experts are trying to learn all they can about COVID-19. Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center is participating in that mission in hopes of finding better treatments. As News 13's Madeline Beerster tells us, it all hinges on the plasma of those who have tested positive for the virus. Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center is partnering with One Blood to become a plasma collection site for their study. They're asking those who have tested positive for COVID-19 but did not get seriously ill to become plasma donors. They probably should go through their primary care doctor so they can provide them the, the confirmation that they had a, a positive test. Um, they either need a positive test or an antibody test that, that's available some places now to prove that they've had it and then they can refer them over to one blood. Potential donors have to meet several requirements. They need to be 14 days out from symptoms from COVID with a negative test or 28 days out with, with no symptoms and no test and they can um, donate plasma and that plasma then can help potentially as many as four patients that are critically ill. Doctors are operating under the premise that the antibodies in the plasma will help others, but not everyone will benefit from the treatments. It's going to help patients at a certain stage of their disease and not others. And it will most likely involve patients with few other options. So if we have a patient that's critically ill that's not responsive to standard therapy, this is one of the novel therapies that may be available to them. Gulf Coast regional staff members say they have not had to use this treatment yet because most local COVID-19 patients seem to be improving. In Panama City, Madeline Beerster, News 13, Panhandle Strong.